So ngayon ay magsasagot naman tayo ng mga probability questions gamit yung probability rules. So yung una nating question, given tayo ng table of values. At yung table of values shows us yung uh, mga languages na alam ng um, Canadians dito sa table na ito. So yung mga languages na included would be English, French, Asian, or Pacific, and others. So yung probability niya is 0 0.63, 0 0.22, 0 0.06 at question mark doon sa mga categories na ito. Doon sa unang question, ano daw yung probability na magre-replace doon sa question mark? So alam natin na ang probability model ay laging equal to 1. So ang gagawin natin ngayon is to add 0 0.63, 0 0.22 at 0 0.06. At yung makukuha natin dito is isa-subtract natin from 1 para makuha natin yung question mark or yung probability ng others. And in this case, 1 minus, pag in natin tong lahat, would equal to, again, kailangan yun ng calculator to do this. So kung gagamit tayo ng calculator, 0.63 plus 0.22 plus 0 0.06 minus 1 is equal to 0 0.09. So 0 0.09 yung sulat natin siya. So 1 minus 0 0.91 is equal to 0 0.09. So ibig sabihin yung question mark natin would be 0 0.09. So others would be the 9% ng language spoken dito sa table na ito. Now, so problem number, letter B, what is the probability that the Canadian's mother tongue is not English? So, ano daw yung probability ng not English? So, kung gagamitin natin yung uh, rules ng probability, ito yung probability or complement ng probability ng English. And to do this, it will be 1 minus yung given probability na, nags, na nagsasalita ng English at yun ay 0 0.63. So 1 minus 0 0.63 is equal to 0 0.37. So 0 0.37 yung nagsasalita ng hindi English as its mother tongue. So yun yung French, Asian, Pacific, and others. At sa letter C naman, ano naman daw yung probability na yung Canadian's mother tongue is a language other than English or French. Other than English or French. So, para rin siyang letter B. So, ang kukunin natin probability ay yung complement ng English or French. At yun ay 1 minus yung English ay 0 0.63 plus yung French which is 0.22 at kapag ka ginamitan natin siya ng calculator yung probability na yung spoken ay other than English would be 0.15 so yan yung paggamit ng probability rules pagsagot ng probabilities tulad ng ito so yung susunod naman natin ay probability ng mga gumagraduate ng high school or ng mga may degrees so dito meron tayong 0.13 person chosen did not complete high school. So, pwede natin i-enumerate uh, yung mga probability. So, um, pwede tayong gumawa ng table. So, yung table natin, uh, 0 0.13, person chosen did not complete high school. Not completed high school is 0.13. Tapos daw, 0.29 person has high school diploma. Is 0.29. At 0.3 naman yung my bachelors. 0.29. So tingnan natin kung legitimate yung ating probability model by adding them up. So, pag in natin siya, we have 0 0.13, 0 0.29, 0 0.29, 0 0.33, 0 0.33, 0 0.33, 0 0.33, 0 0.33, 0 0.33, 0 0.33, 0 0.33, 0 0.33, 0 0.33
plus 0.29 plus 0 0.30 0.72 so hindi siya nag equal sa this is 0.30 Hindi siya nag equal sa 1, so yung complement ng 0.72 would be others. So yung 0.72 minus 1 would be 0.28. At ito yung missing piece ng ating puzzle. So ito yung lagay natin question mark. So yung ating first question is, ano daw yung probability that yung randomly selecting, selected adult or young adult has some education beyond high school so has some education beyond high school but does not have a bachelor's degree which means ito yung education beyond high school would be bachelor's degree at not having a bachelor's degree is 30% so ang kukunin natin ngayon is yung complement itong tatlong ito kasi what must be the probability that a randomly chosen young adult has some education so ito yung some education completed high school high school diploma and bachelors at yung question mark natin would probably be the uh, percentages or category no mga hindi naka no nakapag education or nakakuha ng education pero hindi nakatapos ng bachelor's degree so yung point 0.28 natin yun yung ating probability so yun yung probability ng letter A would be 0.28 yung percentages ng people na naka kuha ng education beyond high school pero hindi nakakuha ng bachelor's degree kasi ito nakakomplete sila ng high school itong dalawa ito naman nakakomplete ng bachelor's degree so yung 0.28 yung ating letter A now so probability letter B what is the probability that randomly chosen young adult has at least at least high school education at yung may mga high school education yun yung high school diploma at yung ating um, 0.28 so sa ating uh, probability pwede natin kunin yung probability of at least high school education this would be yung complement ng ating not completing high school. So, ito yung nakakomplete ng high school or hindi nakakomplete ng high school, at least a high school education. So, kunin natin yung complement ng not completed high school. So, 1 minus 0.13 and 1 minus 0.13 is 0.87. So, yan yung ating complement sa pagkuha ng uh, uh, probability na ito. At doon naman sa problem number 3, yung ating kukuni naman ay yung pagkuha ng standard deck of cards. At sa standard deck of cards, meron tayong 52 set of cards, apat na suits, at saka 13 yung mga cards per suit. So yung ating letter A is ano daw yung probability na makakakuha tayo ng diamond and red card. So, ang pagkuha ng diamond, meron tayong 13 na diamond. So, it's 13 out of 52. Plus red card, which is 26 all over 52. Sorry, yung ating end operation ay multiplication. So, mumultiply natin siya. So, yung ating probability na makakuha tayo ng diamond and a red card would be 13 over 52 times 26 all over 52. Kapag ginamitan natin siya ng calculator, it will equal to point 1153. So, yan yung probability na pagkuha ng diamond at saka ng red card. Ano naman daw yung probability na makakakuha tayo ng number 2 or a black card? So, ang or operation natin ay addition. So, yung probability ng 2 plus probability ng black card would be, so, kukuha ng 2, meron tayong apat na 2 sa standard deck of cards, added to the 26 out of 52 black cards na makukuha natin. So, 4 
out of 52 plus 26 all over 52 kapag inad natin siya would be 0.5769 so yan yung probability ng pagkuha ng 2 at saka ng black cards now ano naman daw yung pagkuha ng king and then another king without replacement so meron tayong standard deck of cards una nating kuha ay king and then sinet aside natin siya at ano naman yung probability na yung pangalawang card natin would be king so ang ibig sabihin yun yung probability ng first king meron tayong 4 kings sa isang standard deck of cards out of 52 pero yung susunod daw natin kailangan daw ay king din so mababawasan na yung 4 kings natin ng isa so meron tayong 3 out of the possible 51 cards. So, ito yung dependent events natin and 4 over 52 times 3 over 51 using the calculator will give us 0 0.0045. So, the probability that you are going to get two kings or a king and then another king is a standard deck of cards is even is less than 1%. Ano naman daw yung not getting a face card? So, alam natin yung probability ng pagkuha ng face card would be 12 out of 52. Since kailangan natin ay probability of not getting a face card, it will be 1 minus 12 out of 52. At kapag ginamitan natin siya ng calculator, it will be 0 0.7692. So, yan yung probability na hindi tayo makakakuha ng face card sa standard deck of cards. At yung pagkuha naman daw ng even number cards. So, ang mga even numbers ay 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So, meron tayong 5 even numbers at may apat na suits. So, 5 times 4 is 20. So, yung probability ng even would be 20 out of 52, which is point three eight four six at yung paggamit ng mga probability rules sa pagkuha ng probability at kung meron kayong natutunan sa video na ito please uh, like share and uh, subscribe to my channel thank you